G'day, welcome to another episode of Country Life on the Coast. My name is Sean, In today's episode, we're gonna build a cat enclosure. So we got ourselves a cat a few months ago and we're keeping him indoors, keep him safe and keep the wildlife safe as well. But we want to build an enclosure so that he can come out, jump in the grass a bit. And so this enclosure, what I'm going to do is build it out of material that I've got around the house here. And a fair bit of it is going to be made out of an old patio that I bought off some people uh, a while ago. I use some of it for previous projects, but there's got some roof sheeting I'm going to use. It's got a big beam here that I can use. It's got a couple of metal posts. Uh, it's got a beam that I can attach to the house that the roof sheeting will go into. So I've laid it out, I've squared it up. And what I'm going to do first is actually dig some holes, put some concrete in the ground that we can then attach the post to. So this is roughly the layout. And I just wanted to square it up, make sure I knew where everything was going to go, how it was going to fit. So we've done that. So yeah, let's mark out the holes and start digging. So we've just got some uh, post-mixed concrete. We just need to basically just add water. We'll just mix it in the wheelbarrow. It's only a, a small amount, so that'll be the easiest way to do this. So yeah, we'll keep going. It's been a couple of days. The concrete is now nice and hard, so it's time to install our brackets and our posts. So we've just got a couple of the brackets like these actually fit up inside of these metal posts. And so these just have a hole go through the middle uh, and we'll bolt that to the concrete. So we'll drill these holes and get these posts installed. So our next step is we're going to put a sheet of the roofing up. It, we'll sit it on top of this beam. And then what we'll do is we'll then work out up at the house where that's got to sit because we just want to have a gentle fall away from the house uh, for get rainwater away, obviously. So we've got a couple piece of timber there that we'll sit that up and then I can just mark underneath and uh, then basically just level it off and put the C channel up that it sits in.
Okay guys, so that's where we're going to leave it this afternoon. We've got, well I've got all the roofing bit panels up that I've got available to me. So there's just a small gap in the middle here that we need to, we'll just use some wire mesh to cover that up. And then the rest will be wire mesh and a door and yeah we'll continue on but really happy for an afternoon's work what we've got done. She's pretty secure now which is great. So we'll see you in the morning. Well today we're going to start putting up some of the wire mesh. Now I've got here a different assortment of wire mesh that we've got just laying around the house. So this stuff here I used on our chicken enclosure when we built that. Um, this tunnel I'm actually going to use that for coming out of the window actually. So I'm going to use the tunnel to come out of the window and come down and in the enclosure so the cat can just come straight down there basically whenever he wants got some chicken wire that we're gonna to have to use just in some of the top pieces so that'll work out and some other wire mesh that again I'm not quite sure where it came from but we've, we've got it so we'll use it so what we're gonna to have to do is this one here is uh, uh, 1.8 meters high about six feet high so I'm going to attach it to the beam up the top here just put some screws in and attach it on there and it's going to be a bit short at the bottom so along the bottom I think I'll use some fence palings that I've got over there and we'll just run them lengthways and that will just cover up the bottom basically and fully enclose it and <laughs> just sort of working again using the materials I've got lying around uh, to enclose this so the first thing I'm going to do though is give all this a good clean I should have probably pressure cleaned it before I put it up but I'll go and grab the Roby pressure washer and give it a hit clean it all up and then we'll start installing the wire this wire mesh on and all I've done is just put some metal screws in in multiple locations uh, and just try to tension it the best I could and one way I found doing that was putting these in like this and grabbing hold of the wire and then just be able to squeeze it and that way I could pull it tight and then screw the screw in. It worked. Took a little bit to work out how to do that. I also had to just notch a bit out of the top here to fit under this beam because obviously screwing into that beam so I had to fit around it. So what we'll end up doing is we'll continue this across. I'm going to put a doorway on that side now. Uh, originally I was probably thinking of putting it here but because we've got that, I'll leave it continuous and roll it there. So I'll have to put another post in somehow. Uh, again, just looking at what other material I have. So I'll find myself a post and go from there. Uh, when I first started over here, I had one screw up the top here. And then just to give me some support, I put a couple of zippy ties on uh, just to hold it. And now, as you can see, I've got some screws in as well. Uh, just to make sure it wasn't going to let go so I didn't want it falling I didn't want it to unravel or anything while I was trying to pull it tight and fixing them up the top so got there it took a fair bit more effort than I probably expected it to but part of the reason is it's almost 300 millimeters off the ground as well so that just adds to the challenge but hey we got there I think it looks really good we will work out what we're going to do uh, I'm going to have to, so I'm going to have to affix some timber to the concrete posts. So I'm going to have to go and f 
dig around try and find if I've got any masonry anchors of some description uh, because yeah I think it'd be easiest if I put a timber beam up on either side and then, and then attach wire meshing to that maybe even hang the door off there as well um, that's one of the things I'm going to have to buy is a door we'll just buy a security screen door or find one second hand I think because that's all it needs to be um, but for today I think that's where we're going to leave it but that'll be fine for the moment we will catch you soon